Hi everyone, it's Jess aka Calorie Mumblebee and I'm back today with another video for you. Today I am sharing with you the four new prompts I picked out for my Lulu Mayer Scavenger Hunt August 2024. If you can hear the odd noise in the background, I do have a fan on. Checking my watch, it is 31 degrees today in the UK and we don't have aircon in our houses. We have our fans and just the constant heat and no relief anywhere you go pretty much. So I do have that on in the background but I will be going into detail of the four prompts I picked out for the month of August. Those being I will show an infographic on the screen here showing you which prompts I picked out. I picked dog to celebrate the newest Lulu Mayo book A Million Puppies being released this last month for the majority of people. I picked Butterfly, because I thought that was a nice summary pick, House Plant, and by that I mean a plant that you would find inside the house, so like a potted plant, uh, rather than sort of any leafy outside plant, it's got to be sort of in a pot, looking like it belongs in the house. And I also picked Frog, and this was requested by one of my friends, the lovely... Steph Louise Argyle requested to do the prompt frog and I was like absolutely I love the frogs from Lily May's books and it was on my list of possible prompts to include in the future so I'm doing it now for August. I will stack these up to the side and I'm going to start with the kawaii tarot book today and we are going to be starting with the prompt dog. So flag them with the orange flags this time we have the king of coins with this proud looking puppy here and that's the only one I found from kawaii tarot then I found one in a million baby animals we have this double page of two different dog families we've got some poodles on this side and what looks like little chihuahuas or pomeranians and more poodles and not sure what this large dog is meant to be but we got those then i found one in a million little monsters this one opposite move that one out of the way opposite the cat pumpkin pages. We've got these poodles with spider webs and aliens and pumpkins. A nice one if you want to get in the mood for Halloween. And then I have a million cute animals. There were a couple in this book. We've got this double page spread of two dogs sat inside. This can also work for the houseplant prompt, as you can see one in the background there. And this one of various different doggy designs with some sort of flower motifs inside them. And we also have this double page here as well. So we've got dog sitting looking out at the window and three dogs sat on the chair in this one and then the only other thing I found for dogs was obviously a million puppies and literally every single page here has a dog on it so any of these will work for the dog prompt I thought it would be a good one to pick for to sort of celebrate the recent release of a million puppies moving on I will do the butterfly prompt next there are a couple in this one. We have this page here with some lovely butterflies surrounding. Oh, the fan is knocking my page. Some lovely butterflies surrounding this dog with some perfume bottles. And then we also have this beautiful little dog here 
with butterfly on his nose and butterfly surrounding him as well as these dogs inside this teapot here with butterfly surrounding them both super adorable pages i'd love to see either of these colored that's in a million puppies in a million sweet things we have some butterflies here on these hats and these very chubby looking penguins down here that's the only one i found in a million sweet things a million magical creatures we have the fairy in a bottle surrounded by some bunnies with butterfly wings that one's really cute one of my favorite pages from this book actually and in fact we've got a frog on the opposite page so you could also do that for frog a million llamas there were quite a few in this one with butterflies in them we have both of these pages this one with a large sun in the background bunnies sailing down the river and this huge butterfly in the middle and the one on the opposite side we have some llamas racing down some sort of like rainbow road almost looking like and butterflies with flowers we have this lovely one of a name character riding a llama with butterflies all around them a nice big sun in the background we have this one got some butterflies on this one with the blacked out background this would be nice to do some beautiful bright bold colors we have a couple of butterflies on this one with some sort of planets surrounding them so you could make it sort of like a spacey galaxy background and then we have this one with butterflies in this room with the llama sitting on the chair and all these photo frames and finally we've got this framed motif here with the llama sitting in a field of flowers and butterflies absolutely gorgeous that one maybe i'll have to color that one that one's really calling out to me that was a million llamas Then a million unicorns. We have this heart design where the two unicorns are being framed by these butterflies. We have this double page spread, sort of um, wavy, continuous design that she does in quite a few books with floral, florals and unicorns and butterflies super pretty that one this i think is one of my favorite spreads from this book we've got the unicorn sitting in the field of flowers little butterfly there look at this cat hiding behind the hydrangea how cute and then we have a similar design and the fact that it's a double page is it a double page spread i suppose not because if it was a double page this the line for these leaves will carry across to the other page but both of these pages have butterflies on each that's a million unicorns and a million little monsters one from in here we've got the Loch Ness monster with a butterfly creature sitting on its nose and some sort of alien monstery creature here with butterfly wings beautiful in a million baby animals we have some butterflies on this one it took me a second to spot that but we've got these i'm assuming they are foxes they look like foxes to me hidden in a bush or tree with all these leaves and butterflies surrounding it this would look absolutely gorgeous coloured 
And then in Kawaii Tarot, we have butterfly over here with the Queen of Coins. A few butterflies surrounding the llama on a swing here. And then we also have this last page, the King of Swords. We've got a butterfly there. Oh, and another one there as well. Often these butterflies look quite hidden. There is also this butterfly from the Queen of Swords, which I coloured in the month of June. So you can colour that one as well. That's a kawaii tarot. Next up, I will go through the houseplant images. In a million sloths, we have this one. Nice, simpler page to colour if some of the more detailed ones are overwhelming you. That would be a good choice to colour. Then, oh, it's getting to the point where I'm struggling to reach the other books which have them. Here we go. Then in a million sweet things, we have a few in this one, this double page spread with the little gnome creature and all these house plants in the sort of background of what it looks to be their living room. And this one here, it looks to be a sort of like wombat planter. So I imagine this is like sort of a ceramic pot and we've got all these creatures coming out of the leaves from the plant. Lovely, that one. Then in a million puppies, we have these two pages here. We've got some houseplants behind the chair of the bulldogs there. And we have houseplants surrounding these King Charles Spaniels which I'm actually doing this as a buddy colour for the month of August, so looking forward to colouring that. It will get two prompts done, dog and houseplant, which is always nice to have a double whammy. Oh, we've got more. Almost closed it up then. <laughs> we've got a hanging houseplant there. And we've also got a vase of flowers. Sorry about that with my glass. We've got a vase of flowers. And we have this rather busy page with the gnome reading a story to all the puppies, as well as on the other page, a room which looks, they both look almost overrun by houseplants. They look quite detailed, but I think once you colour the plants, the rest of the image would probably come together quite quickly. If you think about colouring the plants and then the dogs, there's not much else of details left to colour in that point. A million puppies. Then a million cute animals. We have a house plant here. This is a whip currently of mine with the squirrels, not the squirrels, yeah, squirrels and chipmunk at the bottom here eating a nut. We have a bunch of house plants hanging in the background of this gnome painting a cat. And some house plants in this scene. Sort of a gnome doing some spring cleaning here. And then this one where the gnome is having a little snooze with the cat on its lap. And we've got some nice house plants in the background. That is a million cute animals. And then we had Kawaii Taro. I found this one, Strength. We have the cat here with a bunch of houseplants in the background with the gnome even sitting on the leaf of one of them. And we have the Three of Swords. This cat with the Heart that has been stabbed in a very sort of gloomy sort of setting with a couple of houseplants in the background. So those were all the ones I found for houseplant. Moving on to the last prompt, which is frog. There are lots and lots of pages with frogs in Lily Mayo's books. It's one of her favourite little animals to draw. I can tell from <laughs> flicking through. 
We have the chariot. I really love this one. In fact, that's a double whammy. Frog and butterfly. So you can colour it for both of them. We've got frog sort of being pulled by these butterflies in the lily pond, or across the lily pond, I should say. We have the wheel of fortune with a little frog hanging out in this bottom teacup there. This is my favourite page from the book. We've got the star with the frogs being front and centre of this one and the starry knight in the background. Beautiful page. That's Kawaii Tarot. Then Mammalian baby animals. There was a couple in here. We've got some frogs hanging out on the leaves in the background here. I didn't count this as a house park because it looks like it's an outdoor scene with sort of um, floating in the water, but we've got lots of frogs here and the otters as well. How adorable. And then we have a double page spread here with a couple of frogs down the bottom there. That's a million baby animals. Then I found quite a few in A Million Magical Creatures. We have a frog playing the piano here. It's a fun one. We've got some frogs playing various instruments on the piano keys. We have this bubble wand page with the frogs looking up at the fantastical creatures inside the bubble. And we have two pages on this one. We've got the frog playing a makeshift sort of string in instrument. Not sure what it's meant to be, like a violin or a cello or something like that. With some fairies in the background. And we've got these two frogs hugging here. We've even got a frog mermaid. <laughs> Not sure if I've seen one of those before. Then for the final one in this book, we've got some frogs, or oh, one frog, playing the drum in this page. Super adorable. Love that one. A million magical creatures. In A Million Sweet Things, we had this double page which I called the Origami Ocean. We've got several frogs on this double page spread. I remember having a lot of fun colouring that one. We have these frogs who are listening to a little dinosaur having a sing song. And we have some hiding out amongst the trees and the leaves of this one. Super cute with these sort of like leaf umbrellas. That was a million sweet things. And let me check my books. Yeah, that was the final book that I had pictures flagged for my Lulu May Scavenger Hunt 2024. I've only got one page that I plan to colour so far, and that covers the prompt dog and houseplant. I'll have a think if I get the time, get the chance, get the opportunity, I may try and squeeze the other two in somehow. We'll see though. I've got a lot of body colours planned for the month of August and September. You will see that in my plans video which will come out soon. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you're looking forward to colouring and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!